baby has molted. Danny Fazmid is now L5. Look, there's her skin. Mmm, lovely. Look at she's so big compared to the other ones. Let me just uh, go around here and you might be able to see. See, there's Bulbasaur, if you, if you can see her. <laughs> she's there. And then Danny Fazmid, absolute chongus, huge bug. Even bigger than Frog, who was the biggest. Frog is back there somewhere, behind that leaf that's been half eaten. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you, Danny Fazmid. You're growing up. Oh, baby! Some very exciting news. My McClay's stick insects just arrived today. And this one is L3, I think. And the one back there is the reason I'm not opening the tank. Because she's mid-molt, she's just turning L3 immediately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, these are my new friends. I haven't named them yet. I'll name them based on their personality, I guess. <laughs> Do insects have personalities? I don't know. Anyway, these guys are really cute. I'll do a video on my stick insect and leaf insect at some point, but for now, please enjoy my new friends. I love them very much. She's done it! She's free of her molt! Yay! Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> hey guys, Cha Chan here. In today's video, I thought I'd give you a tour of my desk. Since I've never really had a workstation to work at before, at least not for the past few years, but anyway, I've been settled in here for a few months, so I can give you a little tour, I guess. And also today I don't really know what to draw because, uh, no inspiration, so um, let's just do this instead. Okay, so starting over at this side, I guess. We'll work our way along and then under the desk. Yeah, uh, there's a dent in my desk from something being dropped. That has been there for quite a while. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, uh, here's a stack of sketchbooks and scrap paper for swatching. Uh, this is sewing stuff to go downstairs. The artist toilet roll for art things. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is my Nintendo Switch which lives on my desk even though it's not work related, you know. Um, this is a different colour because I just got a new Joy-Con. Uh, my old one was drifting, it used to be grey like that one, but uh, got a new one. It is blue because that was the only one CEX had in stock, but uh, it doesn't drift, so that's fun. <laughs> Uh, this is my pencil case, which I should maybe do a tour of if you're curious about what I use generally for art. That's my pencil case. <laughs> um, then over here, this is my mini shopping trolley, which holds my sticky notes. I use a lot of sticky notes. A little charm, Pikachu charm I attach to it. Um, yeah, these are a bunch of stickers. I have amassed a bunch of stickers. Um, that is the uh, random bits and bobs corner. There's a harmonica there. I don't play the harmonica, but it, it's there. <laughs> don't even ask why there's lots of twigs and magpie feet on my desk, because I couldn't tell you. It, they just kind of arrive and stay there. I did clean my desk, so I don't know why I didn't really move them. Well, that's uh, something. There you go. Just random stuff that is on my desk. Okay, uh, here's some toys because my desk is full of toys usually. There's the uh, essential worm on a string. I've had this one since I was a tiny child. <laughs> um, here's more toys and there's some scissors and a ruler. Here's my pencil sharpener. I really recommend the Helix Oxford pencil sharpeners. They are really good. They are the only ones I use nowadays. Uh, here's my Copic collection. Uh, I should mention I built my Copic collection up over a few years. I mean, this one was give set A72 colours as well as a Christmas, no, birthday present quite a few years ago from my mum. But uh, these ones back here are ones I have amassed over the past few years. And there's my colour chart, which is... It, it's a colour chart, I don't know what I was going to say about it, it's a colour chart, yep. And there's my list of colours that need refilling which I will get round to eventually. Anyway, moving on. 
under my chomp plushie we have my big Conte um, 24 pack of coloured pencils. Really love those coloured pencils. They are cheap but also really good, so recommend them. Um, toys on my computer. <laughs> there's my memory card converter and there's a memory stick. Uh, this thing though, this is a fox I 3D modelled on my computer and I had it printed and uh, I'd like to sand it down and make some resin casts of it. So uh, that's a thing. <laughs> Um, there's my computer screen. It's big, big computer screen. I'm not used to working on a screen that big yet. I'm get, still getting used to it. Uh, then fix the exposure again because why don't I just turn my screen off? That might be smart. There we go. Now I don't have to. Oh, but then now you can see reflections of my ugly room. <laughs> turn back on. The room is ugly and messy. There we go. Now you don't have to see the mess behind me. Okay, so um, here's some more toys, and there's a disc of Vampirina, which I have yet to watch. Uh, sticky notes on the wall. Well, this is a little um, chart I made myself, or I make myself every week to make sure I am spraying the leaf insects and when I change the branch and stuff. So, yeah, they probably need a new branch today, so I'll do that at some point. <laughs> okay, uh, that's everything on the desk portion. Then I built myself a little shelf here with the help of my dad. Uh, it's a bit wonky but it's a shelf and it doesn't have to be even. As long as it holds things it's fine. Uh, I've got my two taxidermy scrolls here done by myself which is why they are so um wonky. <laughs> this one's called Norman and this one doesn't have a name yet. Uh, then I've got a bunch of toys here because um, I like toys okay? I'm an adult and I can spend my money how I want. <laughs> okay, um, now I've got some rocks and a UV torch and some mummified frogs that I'm painting. It was meant to be a video. Will I ever finish that video? Who knows? Maybe. Okay, uh, then up on the next shelf, I'm not going to show you that side because it's just a mess and just random stuff I've accumulated, but uh, here we have uh, those are some notes from my German class when I used to go to school and college. I am free of education now though. Uh, these are charms and stickers over here. Uh, this is to clean my fursuit with. Uh, Mr. Super Clear packing tape should go over there. Oh, these are my three Spider-Men. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's about it up here. Then uh, that's random old supplies there. Random old drawings and stuff. Oh, there's another pencil sharp there. <laughs> okay. Um, this thing though, this is a light box or a light pad. It's A3. Uh, I bought it with the help of a gift voucher that I got years and years ago. And uh, it's, it's pretty good. And it works as my desk light because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy a ring light for my desk. So um, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a, bit, it's a little bit too blue for lighting at night, but uh, you know, my camera's pretty good for curl... God, I can't talk. My camera is pretty good for color correction, so it doesn't really matter that it's a little bit blue, but uh, I'd like to invest in a proper light at some point. <laughs> okay, so that's everything on my desk up here so let's move under so um despite there being a lot of sweets there I don't actually eat a lot of sweets I just kind of stockpile them and I make my way through them very slowly I mean some of this has been here for months <laughs> so <laughs> you know uh, this box has used sketchbooks in so I mean some of them are half full but most of them are complete I'm not going to open that box because it's just, you know, it's full of stuff <laughs> it's a bit messy. Uh, in here is my Copic refills, so it's Copic refills. Uh, this is my scanner which is the Canon Lide or L-I-D-E 220 which is a pretty good scanner I think at least. Then I've got my box of washi tape and uh, a pencil case full of Stuff. I think it's acrylic paints and oil paints. Never even used oil paints, but uh, I sure do have them. <laughs> uh, what else? 
it is down here. These are my drawers. Uh, up here, uh, this is finished drawings. These are some notebooks. In here we have, uh, this is markers, like uh, Copic markers, uh, gel pens, and various other pens and stuff. It's a bit of a mess. I mean, it's, it's organized, but it, it looks messy. You know, uh, in here we have mostly sketchbooks, uh, but there is my Prismacolor pencils there, and Prismacolor color erasers as well. Just stuff. <laughs> Then down here we have my watercolour and acrylic stuff, so these are all my brushes and uh, then I've got my watercolour palettes and stuff there and my acrylics are somewhere in there. <laughs> okay, moving on, uh, this is my computer, which is a big boy computer. I did not buy this, I should say, I was given this for free by my boyfriend who built it with the help of his dad. His dad runs a computer shop, so yeah, uh, this is a LED strip on the front which changes colour, but I like to leave it on purple because I think it looks nicest. <laughs> I think the rainbows are pretty cool, but I like purple, you know? There you go, back to normal. Okay, uh, then over here we have a pile of sketchbooks, as well as Fangbone Book 3, which I am slowly reading. Um, in here, this is mostly inks. I'm not going to open it because it's piled of sketchbooks and watercolour paper and stuff. <laughs> uh, I've got an A3 sketchbook there, as well as my paper cutter, which I use quite often. Since I bought my uh, Bristol board paper in an A3 pack, and uh, this is mostly paper and stuff in this giant folder, um, yeah, those are old canvases back there which I should really paint over. So uh, that's everything under my desk. Uh, the computer's on a bit of wood so it doesn't suck in dust from the floor. <laughs> okay, uh, that is my desk. Oh, my knees just cracked when I stood up. <laughs> okay, that's my entire desk. Um, do I have anything else to show you? Oh, what about the windowsill? Because I use that too. Move my chair. So over on the windowsill we have um, this comb I made once. It's, it's resin and it's it's soft. It's not meant to be soft, but it is. It's UV resin. I don't know what went wrong. I left it in the sunlight and um... Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a box of um, craft knives. This is a little like desk waterfall thingy. Like the water comes out from here and it does the wheel. You can light a candle if you want. I want to repaint it and make it nice again. Uh, my grand gave me it years and years ago. <laughs> uh, here we have my big 300 page sketchbook. Uh, in here is all receipts, that's why it's open slightly. I should really organise my receipts, but um, yeah. <laughs> then we've got some chargers and my aunt just gave me this thing. It's like a kitchen spice rack thing or like a little, you know, it's for putting spices and stuff in. But uh, I'm going to fill it with art supplies. Um, yeah, but I think that's everything now. <laughs> so uh, that was my desk. Yeah, what else can I show you? I guess I could show you my stick insects because they are a key part of this room in my opinion. I should probably also mention that uh, these things here, it's all focused, are all slugs, like dead slugs. <laughs> if you know me, I, uh, I collect dead bugs, you know, entomology type things um, and I, I found a few dried up slugs recently so um, they are just chilling on my shelf. Yeah that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I did decorate the front of this place with toys, but uh, in here we have my leaf insects. Oh, Bulbasaur's on the move, and I think she's about to eat some leaf. Yep, there she goes. 
Um, that's Danny Plasmid at the front here, Bulbasaur back there who is moving slightly, and up here we have Frog. And then, exciting, over here I have my new McClay's Leaf Insects, which just came in today. And they are both L3, I think, just based on the size. And uh, yeah, I haven't named them yet, but they are adorable. The one back there, can you see my hand? <laughs> now, the one back there has just molted today. Like, she arrived and then immediately started molting, which I think is really cool. Uh, I'd like to do a video on leaf insect care at some point. So uh, maybe I'll do that at some point in the future. We'll see. She's gonna start eating any second. Look at it go. These guys are really dumb. They take forever to find their food even though they are on it. And um, yeah, I love them. <laughs> so that seems to be everything. Um, I don't know what to say really. The rest of this room is a complete mess. So it will be uh, organized eventually and then I will hopefully give you a room tour when that's all done but for now it is a mess so this is all you get for now <laughs> okay thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video links to all of my social medias are in the description please do not hit the like button that probably hurts quite a bit so maybe shake his hand instead with that being said hope to see you in the next one and bye